Hello, and welcome to Introduction to Philosophy. Now, I know that many of you may have signed up for this course because you were interested, others because uh, it was a humanities requirement that you wanted to fill with it, maybe a combination of the two, the humanities course to fill your requirement that you found most interesting, and maybe it's just a major requirement. But in every philosophy class, there are at least some students who have come in wondering, what exactly is it that I signed up for? What is philosophy? So we have here uh, an explanation. Philosophy comes from a Greek root, the word philosophy does. Philo, which means love, sort of like brotherly love, like Philadelphia. The phyla in Philadelphia comes from the same root as philo. Uh, Philadelphia is the city of brotherly love. So love like a sibling, like family. Not, a sort, not necessarily a romantic love, not um, a love like something you just like as a possession, but like love of family. Wisdom, sophos, is wisdom. So love of wisdom. Philosophy, literally translated, means the love of wisdom. And I think a better definition of what philosophy is today would be the search for fundamental truths about the world using reason. Now, I want to unpack this a bit. First of all, when I say world there, I could just as easily say universe. I don't really mean just on planet Earth. I mean about reality in general, I mean life in general, uh, perhaps beyond reality in general. Fundamental truths about existence and where we exist and how we exist and what is it to live the right way or the wrong way what leads to the best most fulfilling lives what is the best way to run a society all this kind of stuff is stuff we cover in philosophy but if i put universe or start putting lots of descriptors in there it makes it more complex so i just said the world now if you look at the ancient philosophers, things that would now be considered um, science, like biology, astronomy, cosmology, physics, would have been contained within philosophy, as would a lot of what we consider history, mathematics, and all sorts of different fields. Even a lot of music theory. The philosopher Pythagoras um, discovered chords and harmony, for example. But as human knowledge built, this became a problem. In the Renaissance, we read of the encyclopedists who would try to create volumes or set of volumes with all of human knowledge uh, compounded in them, com compiled in them, excuse me. And by now, that would be impossible. Even the most extensive encyclopedia is just scratching the surface of most things. Today, if somebody is a biologist, they don't, study, they don't study all aspects of biology. They usually have a very specific area in which they study. You know, or an astronomer, you know, may study stars or may study planets, probably a specific planet or two. The reality of it is, is it's a human lifespan and ability to learn things has its limits. And our knowledge has become so vast that no one person can become a true expert in everything. You can either have a little bit of knowledge of a lot of things or a lot of knowledge of a few things or try to combine that somehow. But when philosophy started out, we knew so little that one person really could be a master of everything. And so as these fields have branched off, philosophy is left looking for fundamental truths. What does it mean when we say to go to life? You know, when we talk about morality, are we talking about what is pleasing or not pleasing to God? Are we talking about some kind of code written into the universe? Or are we talking about what leads to the best life for the most people? Or are we talking about certain traits that are virtuous or not? What do we even mean when we say morality? Is it something that we all have to agree upon? And if so, how should that be applied? whose morality should be used. If we can all do our own thing, 
what do we do if our values collide? For example, I might think it's okay to murder, but if you feel you have a right not to murder, we can't just not to be murdered, excuse me, we, can, we can't just both do our own thing. So what do we mean when we say right and wrong? What should be applied? If we talk about the nature of reality, what does it mean to know things? Does it mean we're absolutely certain? Does it mean we're reasonably certain? Can we truly know everything about any one thing? We don't know. These are the kinds of questions we ask. What is the ideal way to run a state, or in other words, a country, a government? And there are, in addition to actual ways of running a government, there are some fundamental questions. Is the purpose of government to create equal opportunity and equal quality of life for all people? Or is it there to allow people to advance as much as possible or fail as much as possible? What is the purpose of government? Is it just to keep national security or is it um, to uh, take care of the people living within its power? There are all sorts of issues that are very fundamental that we explore within philosophy, even if a lot of things have branched off. And so I think we are going to have a very interesting adventure this term as we look into different aspects of philosophy and different things that philosophers explore. I think you will find it very interesting, and I hope that you will leave with more questions than answers.